What's going on YouTube? Welcome back and welcome to Chris Rustin Views here on YouTube.com. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel and join today. <clears throat> so last night, you guys, we seen AEW, of course. We had Brian Danielson versus Hangman Adam Adam Page, excuse me, for the AEW War at Void title. We've seen these two compete uh like two weeks ago, you guys, and the match ended up going in like basically an hour and five minutes to be at Zach. So, you guys, um, it was a lot of blood that was shed throughout the whole entire match, you guys. For the ones that didn't see it, just want to get, you know, just want to get you caught up on it. If you didn't see it or if you don't have time to watch it, of course, I'll be able to talk to you about it today. So, you guys, we've seen the power drive by um, Brian Danielson. Of course, the one that Jerry Lynn used to do um, when he was on wrestling. Brian, uh, Brian Danielson was, of course, smiling on the outside at Jerry Lynn and uh, Mark Henry and... Um, Paul White, and then we seen um, we seen Brian Danielson was trying to do some kind of move, but uh, Hangman Adam Page ends up you know countering with the power bomb, you guys, and then did like a vicious, I mean a vicious German suplex, you guys, and Hangman Adam Page felt like you know okay, I got him now, I got him where I want him, and so now let me go ahead and plant this buckshot lariat right on. Um, I keep calling him Brian Danielson. Well, uh, Daniel Bryan, but it's Brian or well, Dan Brian Danielson or whatever. But anyways, hey man, I paid you guys uh, retain his AEW World Heavyweight title. Who could be next in line for the AEW World title, you guys? Uh, comment down below on who you think is deserving to, um, you know, to have that title. Then, uh, of course, you guys, uh, MJF came out. Then um, he was going to fight. I I forgot who MJF was gonna fight. Uh, it was some type of sergeant guy, and then that's when um, CM Punk came in the ring, and then that's when MJF started doing the little boohoo phase thing and all that. And then CM Punk ends up uh, snatching the guy up, hit him with a GTS, and so that made MJF for that made MJF lose his first loss ever, you guys, um, of 2022. <clears throat> and so after then, you guys, MJF was basically talking and saying that. You know, he was like, CM Punk, I know you want to fight me and blah, 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 everything like that. And then CM Punk uh, was basically, he was saying, um, he was basically saying, you know what? You can go over and, you know, do be like Roddy Piper and, you know, end up getting released. Like you guys, he like it was cr like a crazy thing. And then that's when uh, MJF was like, um, Punk, you want me? He was like, well, it's going to be you versus Wardlow. And then CM Punk said, um, <clears throat> you know, basically you can go over, you know, to that company, which they were referring to WWE and uh, get released uh, faster than you can make a WrestleMania. And I was like, wow, that was like a big shot to WWE, you guys. And then, of course, we're seeing Wardlow. Uh, he ended up coming out with Sean Spears uh, ended ended up uh, doing a move on some ba a basic uh, guy that you may see on AEW Dark. Um, it didn't hit four, maybe five power bombs, you guys um you know onto that guy and i was like man look at that vicious power bomb he just planted and then after then you guys of course uh warlow end up picking up the victory basically like a what a one minute match i can say uh i can say the least you guys but you know warlow is basically you know just like gay car uh jay cargill where she only wrestles for like like under five minutes basically but anyways you guys definitely have to say that um Wonder what how that match is gonna be between Wardlow and um CM Punk um and all. But anyways, we had J we had the TBS women's um uh title match. We had Jay Cargill versus Ruby Soho. Ruby Soho, of course, you guys came from WWE. Uh she made it from the bottom all the way to the top, you guys. Jay Cargill, uh a very strong athlete, had I can say the least, and Jay Cargill's um uh, little baby girl daughter uh of course was out there as well well i can basically just say her daughter was out there in the crowd you guys look just like jay cargill and so you guys ruby soho was trying to take it to jay cargill but jake uh but jay cargill you know of course you guys she always come back um you know with her moves and all that we've seen a um a shoulder look like a shoulder breaker you guys as she was trying that she was uh doing and then we seen the little big boot you guys from um jay cargill and jay cargill you know she was definitely her and ruby soho was definitely 
um, during that match. It was an okay match. I wouldn't say it was a good match, but at the same time, you guys, um, Smart Mark Sterling was up on the rope, you guys, and that's when uh, Aubrey Edwards, you know, she was trying to say, you know what, you get out. And then, <laughs> so after then, we seen the jaded, you guys, off the, t off the top rope by Jade Cargill, and your winner and the first ever and the new TBS Women's Champion. Jay Cargill. We kind of figured that Jay Cargill was going to win. I basically predicted it, you guys. I just didn't really talk about it, you know, here on YouTube, but I was talking about it amongst friends. And I was like, you know, you know, Jay Cargill is going to win that TBS, uh, you know, title thing the way how, you know, they're booking her. But throughout the whole entire tournament, I predicted Jay Cargill. But anyways, you guys, we've seen Malachi Black. He had a match with um, Brian Pillman Jr., Malachi Black, um, he was teasing that I think it was Brody King uh, from Ring of Honor was going to debut tonight. I really didn't see it in here, you guys, unless I missed it somewhere. But anyways, um, of course, we've seen this short match. Of course, you guys, the match didn't really last long at all. Um, <clears throat> but we, end up, we ended up seeing where Malachi Black, uh, you know, does the little, you know, the black mask kick thing to the side of Brian Pillman's head and just knock Brian Pillman out cold. And you know with um with uh, Malachi Black, you definitely know when he hits that shot, it seems surreal, you guys. I can say the, you know, I can say the least. And after then you guys, of course, we um see Malachi Black uh walk off and then the light goes dark. And I was like, hold on, what is this? And then so after then you guys the lights come back on and of course um <clears throat> We see um Mal we see Malachi Black, you know, just walking away like you know something was gonna happen. Then you guys, uh, Ruby Soho was targeting the AEW Women's World Champion, um, but Dr. Britt Baker and her end up brawling. And then um, Rio ends up getting in the match. Then you guys, uh, looks like Friday we're gonna have Dr. Britt Baker DMD and uh, and Jamie Hader versus Ruby Soho and Rio. Then, you guys, next, well, looks like uh, this Saturday, you guys, I'm ready for this. AEW Women's World Champion, Dr. Britt Baker versus uh, Riho. Who will win that match, you guys? Comment down below. Then, you guys, we're going to have TNT, um, the TNT Championship match at Battle of the Belts, which is the pay-per-view call this Saturday. Um, but, you guys, going to be Cutter Rose versus Sammy Guevara. Then, next week, you guys, we got CM Punk versus Wardlow, as I mentioned earlier. Who's going to win that match? Will MJF, um, you know, get in between the match and, you know, make CM Punk lose or something like that? Then we got Powerhouse Hobbs, of course, with Taz versus Dante Martin. And in Dante Martin's corner, um, you know, you got Leo Rush. Then you guys, um, next we have the main event, which is for the AEW World Tag Team uh, Championships. We got the Lucha Brothers versus Luchasaurus. And Jungle Boy, uh, Drastic Express, of course, Christian Cage, of course, you know, is alongside with them uh, throughout the match. You guys, I have to say this was one of the best matches of the night, especially with them making this the main event. Um, of course, you know, when you have Penta El Cedo Meadow and Ray Phoenix, of course, in the match, you guys, you already know this match is going to be good. And so we've seen a lot of kicks, a lot of flips, a lot of over the top rope stuff, you guys. Uh, you know, throughout this match. And so I definitely have to say that uh, Pentel said on middle um, and, uh, you know, and, you know, both of the teams, basically, you guys were doing their thing. And there was only one thing I liked about the show, which was, there was only another thing I liked about the show, which was the promo with MJF uh, and CM Punk. And so you guys uh, with this, you know, with this match, you guys, I definitely have to say, um, you know, it was pretty cool to actually see these uh two teams uh face off against each other and um <clears throat> and of course you've seen uh that <laughs> you guys have to say these are some phenomenal tag teams here uh that um aew has and so with that uh you guys um of course it was a part in this match where uh penta no it was ray phoenix got choke slammed through the table by luchasaurus but ends up breaking his arm, you guys. Ray Phoenix, I get I'm not sure if he landed on his arm or what. But you guys, the match was definitely, you know, pretty uh intense, you know, I have to say the least. And so uh, you know, with that, you guys, um just look at just look at 
the just look at how the match went you guys just look at how bad of everything that happened throughout the match the spinning the twirling the every little bit and piece of the match you guys and so with that you guys um of course we've seen alex was getting frustrated you guys and alex just basically ended up um just basically ended up trying to get the table and ray Phoenix was like tell him was telling uh alex no don't get the table and so with that you guys um we of course um seen right here where he broke ray actually broke his arm on aew television and so you guys i was pretty much um surprised by that and you know how uh jungle boy ends up picking up the victory um over uh ray phoenix and all of that and penta was definitely surprised like oh my god they would just lose the aw world tag team titles and so after then you guys i was pretty much surprised myself and of course you guys um you know after the match uh J jungle boy mom was out there in the crowd as well and so with that you guys christian of course one of the tag team specialists um of all time you guys um you know it was just it was just amazing to actually see jungle boy and you know luchasaurus um you know pick up the victory over uh pentel seven middle and ray phoenix but of course we've seen all tag teams of AEW come out um kind of slow clapping you guys saying that they have their sights set on AEW World Tag Team title. So now you guys what I feel what I feel like they're gonna do right now, they're gonna go they're gonna basically go with a tournament, you guys, is what I'm feeling that AEW uh, may announce next week on Wednesday. A tournament to see, you know, who's gonna face you know, who's gonna face off, you know, um against Luch Luchasaurus and um uh jungle boy but you guys with that thank you guys so much for watching chris wrestling views here on youtube.com and i'll see you guys in my next video peace